Hi, this is Jim Whitley from the world famous tool shed located at 1073 Main Street in Worcester. Hours this week are Wednesday through Saturday, weather permitting. Uh, more information can always be found on the website at www.use-tools.com. And again, the weather, if it snows out, there's a chance we might not be open. So um, you can always give a call or check the website. That'll be updated to say whether or not we're open. All right, so the bargain table this week is at 50 cents. Uh, skill tile saw, 40 bucks. Ryobi tile saw, 110. Profile sander, $25. There is a biscuit cutter in here. That is priced at $27.50. Um, Greenlee bits, $10 and $10. $90 on the right angle Milwaukee uh, drill. $3 on the light. $8 on the cobalt four pound sledge. Ear protection, $5. The Jorgensen clamps is two of those. Those are six fifty each. The little engraver is three bucks. Seven fifty on the Lennox um, hacksaw. The panel carrier three fifty. Uh, gloves, electrician's gloves with the rubber there and the insulated part. Those are how much are these? Twenty two dollars and fifty cents. Eight dollars and fifty cents on the. Weller soldering gun with uh, the solder paste and solder. $15 on the GE Power Load Gold 6 12 circuit load center. HK Porter uh, bolt cutters $13.50. Same HK Porter $7.50. $6.50 on the angle cutter. $10 on the wire rack. $6.50 on the. Um, on the ideal, uh, on the ideal, yep, you know what it is, the uh, wire snake, $2.50 on the hammer, the Stanley dead blow hammer is $10, Stanley axe is $9, squares, $5.50, $3.50, the Fluke 61 infrared thermometer is $25. The spare, uh, ideal uh, 61 421 um, multimeter is $25. That does have leads. Everything has leads with it that I'm going to show you. The Sperry DSA 500 with leads, that is $25 also. That heater there is $11.50. Uh, $11.50 on these drill bits. The brush, dollar. Next brush, dollar fifty. T fifty stapler, four bucks. Two dollars on the on the um, sixteen foot uh, tape measure. The ideal volt sensor is eight dollars. Masonry tools got to price them; they're not that expensive. Uh, Two dollars and fifty cents on the light. The Dewalt brushless um, twenty volt drill. This is, I'll give you the model number, DCD777. This is $55. Two batteries, charger, great condition, $1.50 on the sanding block. The, um, the level is $7.50. Tape, um, carpenter's ruler, two bucks. The one with the extent, no, that one's not $2. This one is $6, because it's got the little extension piece. This one is $2, because it doesn't have the extension piece. Uh, $4.50 on this guy here. Show you the end of that. Kind of unique. 650 on this guy here. 450 on this regular crowbar. Um, of course, I forgot to put the prices on those guys. Ten dollars on that wire underneath. Two dollars on that. The uh, two dollars on the little vernier. Four dollars on the snips. There are a couple drills. This is forty-five dollars. That's a hammer drill. The uh, Magnum is $45 also. They're both half inch chucks. See if I forgot anything I wanted to talk about over here. I did not forget anything, amazingly. All right. So we got this right angle grinder that is. Oh, where's the price on this thing? That is $30. There is a Greenlee bender that is $140 if you saw the video the Instagram video you would have seen that last week and you would have seen all the other stuff that we uh, we had 
Um, Black & Decker uh, Bandsaw, $95. Oh, I forgot to do the, the Greenlee ratcheting. Uh, cable cutter, no price on that yet. $6.50 on the vice grip, $5.50 on the vice grip. $6 on the Klein strippers. These Klein strippers are $8.50. $3 on the tester. Uh, the Klein scribe is $4.50. The Klein, um, I don't know what the hell you're going to call this. You know, they can take the burrs off. Nine bucks on that. Klein uh, dykes, those are $17.50. Needle nose, those are 15. 850, <laughs> excuse me, on the Klein uh, tester. Klein Lyman pliers, 1750. Uh, more Klein tools, uh, 1250. Tape measures, dollar fifty, two dollars. Those are both Stanley. All Klein pliers in there. Some in other stuff uh, ranging in price from a dollar up to I think four fifty five dollars. The rigid Fuego. Reciprocating tool is oh they rate the price thirty bucks. Fluke meter. This is a uh, the T three and this is twenty seven dollars and fifty cents. The roto zip is thirty bucks. This is a Delta scroll saw with the uh, fully variable speed. That is a, with the stand and the roll. It's actually a rolling stand. That is one hundred twenty five. The gaffs are 60 bucks. Uh, another wire rack that's $10. All the wire is priced individually. They range in price from, I think, $10 up to $50. That is sold. That's, and I'm pointing at the uh, engine hoist. 300 on the rigid um, table saw. The mag liner is $65. $35 on the rigid, I mean, the Delta chop saw. Oh, let's keep going. Saw horses, $45 for the pair on those. All right, SK half inch set. Again, this guy's an electrician, so insulated, $50 on that one. Another SK set, 3 eighths. This is $32.50. Pullers, $7 and $9.50. Those are both craftsmen. Non SK. Uh, Six dollars and fifty cents. Those are standards. Six dollars on this uh, clamp. Seven fifty on the channel locks. Another set of channel locks down here, which are eight dollars. Uh, rigid pipe wrenches, eight fifty and eight fifty. Four dollars on the square. Not necessarily any particular name. Uh, pliers, four fifty, four fifty, three dollars, uh, three fifty. The Stanley level mint condition, five bucks. Uh, the Ace Super Set. This is complete. Uh, I'm sure it's standard because it's older. That is fifty dollars. What else we got here? Just random pliers, squares, and this all range in price from a dollar up to uh, I see two dollars, two dollars, two dollars, two dollars, dollar on the these guys there. Three dollars on the strippers. Two fifty on this staple gun kit is five dollars and fifty cents. That's T fifty also. Two dollars on that guy. Ten dollars on the Craftsman half inch ratchet. All right, uh, put out a ton of oh, this wire stripper. This wire stripper is where's the price on this? Thirty five dollars, and uh, that's about all I can remember right now. So, anyways, uh, Wednesday through Saturday one to five. If weather is iffy. You can always give a call or check the website. Thanks.